Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Wednesday, January 27th, 2016. Uh, so as of this recording, Sierra Shields, boy, I'm messing that up. Sierra Shields is still missing. as we approach the two-week mark. So, yeah, it snowed overnight. Not a ton. Just enough to put a a bare layer of white on everything and not even enough to cover the grass. It's kind of funny, you know, here in Michigan, we're used to kind of really getting, getting snow. I mean, we're known for snow. We get a fair amount of snow, at least in this part of Michigan. We've gotten some, but not a lot, and it's we've had the cold weather, but we haven't gotten the snow. We certainly haven't gotten like what the East Coast got over the weekend, where they're getting three feet. So yeah, we're just kind of uh, clunking along, and you know, I was looking at the forecast, and there's really nothing of any note forecasted. And in fact, we're going to be in the 40s again this weekend. So what? little we do have on the ground that's going to continue to melt. Uh, I've got a few bits that are holding on, you know, places basically where they piled up a little bit from past snow shovelings. I think I've only used the snowblower once. And actually that was kind of ill-advised because it was so heavy that it kept clogging up, so... But what I thought I'd talk about today is I, I was looking at the Twitter... Uh, moments, which is kind of their trending thing, and of course today is the anniversary of um, the discovery of Auschwitz, I believe. So this is like Holocaust Remembrance Day. I'm not really going to talk about that in any great detail. The other one, uh, the other one I saw was a a series of tweets with uh, based on the hashtag of growing up with my name. And it was all these people that were talking about how difficult it was to grow up you know, with an unusual name. And there was there was uh, a woman on there whose first name was Cherry, which I wouldn't. I wouldn't think is all that unusual, but apparently she gets asked a lot, you know, no, no, what's your real name? You know, so I don't know, like, you know, Cherry is, you know, she, they think that's a nickname. There's a guy on there whose name was Novel, like the book. Uh, and, and of course, he says, he gets comments like, uh, you know, so your name is Book? <laughs> uh, what chapter are you on? You know, stuff like that. Uh, there was another woman on there whose name was Lovely. And she said, you know, the typical conversation was, you know, what's your name? Lovely. Lovely? Well, that's a lovely name. And she, then she said, every single time. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I, 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 I can relate because you know, my wife has got an unusual name. Her name is Jelaine spelled J-U-L-A-Y-N-E and you know there's some of the very common things that there were a couple tweets about there there was this one tweet that showed somebody just jumping up and down as if they were really excited and the caption on it was how I feel when somebody pronounces my name right the first time and that's the way we get with, with with Jelaine's name because you know people will you know, really screw it up and usually come up with something kind of close to Julianne, you know, or, 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 you know, or something, you know, and to the point, or just call her Julie or, or, or whatever, to the point where by the time she got through school, she was pretty much responding to anything that started with a J because people would just, would just murder it. And, you know, some of the woes of of those people that are uniquely named are that 
you know, getting anything personalized is is difficult. You know, you can't if you go in some places selling personalized stuff, you aren't going to have um, probably a, a a you know a personalized pen with with novel on it or whatever. There's this one guy that was talking about how people always mispronounce his name, and his Twitter ID and his name was both the same, so I'm assuming that's his name. It was Unilad. U-N-I-L-A-D. And maybe that's the incorrect pronunciation, but that he's complaining about. I don't know. But I'm not quite sure how you would pronounce that otherwise. You know, so you got the whole pronunciation thing. You got you got lack of you know, personalized stuff. I once, I did once get uh, the wife a personalized Christmas ornament, and that's because we got there's this there's this Christmas store that's you know open year round in Frankenmuth, Michigan, that will hand um, hand paint a name on a Christmas ornament for you. And you can actually go online. It's uh, B-R-O-N-N-E-R-S is the name of it. And I think it's just Bronners.com, if I remember correctly. Uh, and you can order it, and they'll ship it to you. And, and so at one point, I got her an ornament with her name on it. But yeah, she always would comment that they would, you know, her, her other sisters have got relatively normal names. Gail and one is Brenda. You know, so th- if they're out traveling someplace, you know, they can get a pen with their name on it fairly easily. Oh, and then there was this one tweet from Haley, from from a woman named Haley or female named Haley, and she just posted a picture of a list of about I don't know 40, 50 ways. That you could legitimately spell Haley, <laughs> and I guess her her un, I don't think she even put a caption on it. But I think the kind of the unspoken comment was, you know, it's always misspelled because people are going to pick one of these spellings that uh, are not the way she spells it. Apparently, no. I kind of feel like I straddle, I straddle the line, you know. So. Keith is a recognized name, and I don't want to call it a common name, but I'm going to say it's a familiar name. You know, for most most people, if they see the name Keith, they aren't going to think, what an unusual name. But it's not terribly common. I mean, I don't run into a lot of Keiths over the course of my life. You know, like if I was named William or Bill, you know, you'd be running into to Bills all, all over the place. Um, you know, same thing for women if you're like a Sue or uh, what are some other common names? You know, Debbie, Deborah, very common. Um, you know, so Keith isn't like that. But yet it's one that's it's pretty universally recognized as, as being a familiar name. If we go to some touristy place, you know, I have a really, really good chance of being able to find a pen or a key ring with my name on it. I remember when I was a kid, uh, they used to sell these kind of touristy places. They may still, for all I know, uh, little metal license plates that were rather small that you would put on the back of your bike. And I had one of those that had my name on it from some place. But, you know, I don't run into a lot of keys in day-to-day life. Um, the church we're going to now does have a Keith there, uh, besides my, besides me. Uh, so there is that. But beyond that, there was this one place I was working at 20 years ago, I guess, where we brought on a contractor for a while. He was there probably hmm, close to a year that worked with me and his name is also Keith 
And it was kind of funny because the first day he, he came to our place, you know, he came and, and, you know, his boss at the consulting firm he worked for came, who was also named Keith. So we, we, we had a little bit of a chat there about how odd it was to have three Keiths in the room. I think that is the only time in my life when I have been with two other people named Keith. Um, I have a feeling if I was named Bill, that wouldn't be the case. So, yeah, I just thought that was interesting, seeing the woes. If you want to see some of them, go to Twitter. And the hashtag was uh, growing up with my name. And there were some funny things in there. I didn't look at them all, obviously, because I imagine there were a lot more than I saw. But, uh, yeah, it can be. It, it seems to me like unusual names, though, are getting to be more the norm. Because, you know, a lot of mothers these days seem to be like, you know, feel they have to give their child some unique collection of syllables that nobody else is going to have. Uh, that seems to be happening more and more. So it may not be, you know, and just because it's getting to be more frequent doesn't mean that it makes it any easier on the kids because, you know, they're still going to have the same issues. It just might be you have more people to commiserate with. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, I think I'll let that be that for today. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.